Court of Cobb County now in session, the Honorable Toby Rogers presiding. Please have a seat. And uh, I'd like to welcome you all here to the uh, swearing in ceremony for Robin Bishop and, and uh, Michelle Taylor. I um, want to thank you for uh, being here present and virtually as well. And at this time, I'd like to introduce uh, Angie Davis, who will give the opening prayer. Angie. Thank you. If you'll please bow your heads in prayer with me. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you for Rochelle and Robin and uh, leaders that are willing to serve our community. God, I pray, Lord, that you continue to instill in them the wisdom and discernment needed to fulfill their roles. Lord, I pray that you give them strength to make tough decisions, compassion for those whom they serve, and peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord. I pray that they look to you in all things. Lord, I, I pray for safety and blessings for all that work in Cobb State Court. Please bless them and keep them. In your son's name I pray, amen. Well, it's really a special day for me to be here. Um, Robin, you were just such uh, an incredible partner for the last seven years as my chief deputy, but a friend for over 20. And, um, you know, I think if we were to look at, you know, a, a year ago, a year and a half ago, if anyone mapped out what 2020 would look like, you know, we would all be in disbelief. But for the two of us and our journey that's brought us here today, um, I, I think, um, we didn't necessarily see the plan, but we saw God this last year working in our lives and preparing us for this. And I think he prepared our hearts and our minds and our spirits. And I, I know you and Ro, um, Rochelle are going to do an incredible job, already are doing an incredible job. And I'm honored to, to see you be sworn in for this new term. Um, as I drove over here, I was thinking about the legacy of excellence that this, this clerk's office has and that y'all will continue that and uphold that. I don't know that I'm going to be able to say that y'all are the best clerk's office in the state, however, <laughs> because now you got some competition downtown, um, but y'all are going to do some amazing things, and I'm happy for you both, and happy for this team. All right, so Judge, I'm going to switch. All right, Ms. Bishop. All right, we have two oaths. The first is the uh, loyalty oath, and then we'll be doing the uh, the oath of office. So can you raise your right hand? Uh, do you, Robin Bishop, a citizen of Cobb County, and being an employee of the Office of the State Court of Cobb County, and the recipient of public funds for services rendered as such an employee, do you hereby solemnly swear and affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Georgia. I do. Thank you. Now, the oath of office. Do you, Robin C. Bishop, solemnly swear or affirm that you will truly and faithfully perform the duties of the office of clerk of the State Court of Cobb County to the best of your ability? And do you further solemnly swear or affirm that you are not the holder of any unaccounted for public money due this state or any political subdivision or authority thereof, and that you are not the holder of any office of trust under the government of the United States, any other state or any foreign state, which you are prohibited from holding by the laws of the state of Georgia, and that you are otherwise qualified to hold said office according to the constitution of the United States and laws of Georgia, and that you will support the constitutions of the United States and of this state. Congratulations. Thank you, so it looked it looks long. 
but it's not. So it's big print. Um, so that's why it looks so big. But thank you all who we could have attend here for our swearing in. And thanks to those of you watching live and who will watch it when you can in the future. Um, we are honored to be in the courtroom of Judge Toby Progers. Judge Progers is a legacy to this court. And we got something made for you, Judge, that I'm going to leave right over here for you. But I think it represents years of excellence and legacy in this court. Um, you've served with a lot of clerks. And we've all loved you. And so this is a picture of Martha Watson, Diane Graham, Webb Graham, Graham Webb, sorry, and Angie Davis, and you, that for the three former clerks, we wanted to show our respect and appreciation for everything that you've done for our court. I'm going to leave this over here on your bench. And um, the pillars of excellence of these clerks, of customer service, excellence, and accuracy and efficiency, you have shown those same pillars. And I think it's only fitting that the four of you are framed in this picture and we're leaving this for you. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. Also with that, I um, wanted to thank the Sheriff's Office for being here and calling us to order and putting yourselves in harm way, harm's way for us every day um, and protecting this, the staff here and this court. And we can't thank you enough for all that you do. Um, now to Angie. Thank you, Angie, for coming back. Angie, as you all know, has been appointed by the governor to be the clerk of the statewide business court, hence the competition that she referenced. Um, but if there was one person that Rochelle and I could think of that would know exactly how to pray for us in this moment, it would be Angie Davis. So we wanted her to come back, not just for that reason, but um, when the, we were in the height of the summer wave of the pandemic is when Angie's appointment happened. And there were a lot of wheels that had to turn in two weeks for us to transition. And we didn't have the virtual capacity that we have now. Um, we didn't really know how to work through retirements and appointments and do everything we needed to do. So we wanted to thank you publicly in a public forum for your years of service to this county, for your years of service to this court, for your friendship. I've watched Angie be a daughter, a wife, a mother, a friend, a co-worker, and I plan to see her excel more. And we have a little tra um, tradition in the clerk's office. When a manager or clerk retires, we have sort of a family picture area. And we usually have a big deal about putting the picture out and everything. And we didn't get a chance to do that of the retiree, the management retiree and the clerk. So this will go on the coveted family retirement shelf for the clerk's office. And it's a picture of us together to show our service and time. So thank you for your service. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for our support. And we have your cell phone number. We'll call you a lot. <laughs> um, with that, um, I wanted to thank the Cobb State Court Clerk Management Team. Usually in a setting like this, they're all in here making faces. Um, when we're doing these situations, they're all um, watching uh, together in, a, in a, another location. But I don't want to just thank this current management team. I want to thank the team of managers that came here, that was here when I came in 2013. Um, you're the heart of the organization. You do all the hard work. You serve with grit and ingenuity and class. And I learned more from those first four managers that I worked with here and the four managers now than I think I've learned from any people that I've ever worked with in my entire career. And I can't thank you enough for putting up with me, for training me and supporting me. Um, and thank you as well to all the current management team for managing through a pandemic. There's not a handbook for that. And you guys have done an incredible job. Um, I also want to thank our executive assistant who uh, secured these very especially meaningful masks for Rochelle and I today. In our office, they have a lot of meeting, meaning and we appreciate it. And the deputy clerks, um, usually they're in this room too, but they're all watching virtually now. You don't always see them, but you'll hear them hitting file in stamps and running carts down the hall and working ferociously to make sure this court runs. And part of the reason I decided to go ahead and uh, 
fulfill Angie's term and run in the fall was you guys. You you are amazing, and thank you. Um, also, there's a lot of special people, and I can't thank them all who stepped up in July and August to uh, help me create a campaign committee. Had somebody agree to be chair, treasurer and a uh, chair, and go through spe a special qualifying, and those who in a hurry agreed to support us financially. Uh, we appreciate you. I also want to draw attention to some public serv service volunteers in this room uh, that's helped the clerk's office run efficient efficiently in the last six months. And that would be my sweetheart, my husband, Alan, who supports me every day in countless ways. And he makes me laugh every single day. Um, he's a hero to me and to our girls. And I just want to thank you, Alan. Um, my daughters, Cassie and Jenna, um, who are the learning all the voices of the management team on mommy's cell phone. Um, I wanted to thank them for their support and their faces, their words, and their lives just light up my heart, and I couldn't thank you enough. And I'll have a title here, but I'll never be prouder than the title of Cassie and Jenna's mom. And speaking of that, my mom, Carolyn Hyatt, has always said, you lose your title and your name once you become a mom, and then you become that kid's mom, Robin and Robin is now Castie and Jenna's mom. And mom says she had that title, Robin's mom. But you know what, Carolyn Hyatt, a great name is better chosen than great riches. And you have a great name. And that is your title. And thank you. Thanks to my mom and my pop. And now that I thanked all these public service people here, I wanted to tell you uh, one of the reasons I wanted to do this and agreed to do it. And um, it's a funny story. Uh, in third grade, at Fair Oaks Elementary School, the teacher was asking for volunteers for student council to go to Autumn Breeze Nursing Home on Sandtown Road in Marietta to deliver potted plants and coordinate an activity day and be there for the residents. So with my classmates, I did that. I put it together, had a lot of fun, and we got there, and I saw the looks on the faces of the residents, and I saw the looks on my classmates' faces, and I was so proud to be a Fair Oaks Eagle there doing those things for those residents. And I realized, you know, that's it. That look on somebody's face when your service meets them where they are to deliver what they need, uh, that's it. When they need it, service and humility and excellence have always been something that I gravitated to. Whether, you know, my career in Cobb started in 94 and whether I was in the law library trying to help somebody find the right treatise or with a bunch of volunteers planting 150 pound root ball trees out at Jim Miller and Al Bishop. Have y'all seen my baby trees? They're so big. Um, all those things, just seeing people's faces when we wrote grants and helped us fulfill something that the community needed. That is what I cherish. And when Angie so graciously asked me to be her chief deputy and then I got here and I got to see the impact that we had when we helped an attorney e-file for the first time or helped the citizen navigate through their payment and paperwork. It was that same gratifying feeling. It's service. It, that's what makes me work. Um, and that's why I agreed to do it. And that's why I love it here. And I want to keep that tradition alive of this court. I want to meet people where they are and help them in that moment when they need it most. And that's why I think we're here. Um, when all of this happened very quickly this summer um, to take over Angie's term and then decide whether we were going to qualify and, and try to do another term, I had to really quickly choose a chief deputy. Um, so I prayed a lot. And then I thought to myself, who, can, who would do this? Who, has, who enjoys service? Who has a servant's heart? Who would take care of the citizens and the staff in the same way I would? Um, this is a hard task because under local legislation, if the clerk, for our position, if the clerk leaves, retires, whatever, the chief deputy has to take over immediately as clerk. So you have to find somebody that would be willing to do that. Oh, and also do it in a matter of a couple of weeks in the middle of the summer in a pandemic. And so I had to do a lot of soul searching, but I looked at somebody who's been with the office for over 22 years, and that's Rochelle Taylor. She's our former criminal division manager, and I trust her. And, you know, you have those little moments of affirmation that tell you whether you made the right choice or not. And I'll tell you one that happened next week, the last week, that, that I think truly shows you that this, is, this was the right pick. 
for this court and for this time. Um, the pandemic has created havoc on our scheduling and our calendars, as you can imagine. And we um, had a situation where we had to suddenly be ready to take on a lot of moving of cases uh, to January 15th. And we had posted our phone number out there everywhere for our phone team to call and find out for the citizens what to do to, to change that or get inquiries on that. So I said, hmm, I think we need to talk to the phone team and, and get them ready and, and let them know that they're the face of this office and that there's going to be people, a lot of people confused and encourage them to give out good customer service. So I said to Rochelle, we should probably do that. She says, I've already done that. She had already done that. She went down and told them that she, that, that team was going to be the face of this office. And we wanted them to give exceptional customer service to people who were facing a lot of strange questions and situations, each one different. And she had already done that. And that was another way for me to know I probably made the right decision. Um, that act, along with countless other things that's happened since August 1st, when we started this role together, has been my affirmation. I chose the right chief deputy to meet people where they are and serve them with a selfless heart. And ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating and welcoming the chief deputy clerk of the state court of Cobb County, Rochelle Taylor. And I think Rochelle's going to take her oath with the judge now. All right, good morning. Good morning, Judge. Let's see. Okay, and again, we have the two oaths. We have the loyalty oath and the oath of office. We'll do the loyalty oath first. Do you, Rochelle, Rochelle Taylor, a citizen of Cobb County and being an employee of the office of the State Court of Cobb County and the recipient of public funds for services rendered as such employee, uh, do you hereby solemnly swear and affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Georgia. Okay. Thank you. And now uh, for the oath of office. Do you, Rochelle R. Taylor, solemnly swear or affirm that you will truly and faithfully perform the duties of the office of Chief Deputy Clerk, State Court of Cobb County, to the best of your ability? And do you further solemnly swear or affirm that you are not the holder of any unaccounted for public money due this state or any political division or authority thereof, that you are not the holder of any office of trust under the government of the United States, any other state or any foreign state, which you are pro prohibited from holding by the laws of the state of Georgia, and that you are otherwise qualified to hold said office according to the Constitution of the United States and laws of Georgia, and that you will support the constitutions of the United States and of this state. Our congratulations. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Thank you all for being here today to join us on this very momentous occasion. My speech is nowhere near as eloquent as Robin's, but um, it's short and succinct. So. Um, thank you, Judge Rogers, for honoring Robin and I and administering our oaths to us. I greatly appreciate that. You've been a pillar of knowledge and wisdom to this court for over 20 years. Your kindness to everyone you meet is an inspiration to all of us who know you. Thank you for your service to our country and to our citizens. Angie, thank you for coming to support Robin and I as we navigate through these next four years of monumental changes to our court. We covet your prayers. Your support is a testament to how much you have always cared for us in this office. 
You've set the bar high, as have all of our predecessors, and we, we intend to keep it there for as long as we are allowed. I would like to thank my mom and dad for raising me to believe that I can do anything I put my mind to. You have always believed in me and supported me through all of my endeavors, big and small. Thank you for teaching me to have a great work ethic and stand for what I believe in, to love hard and forgive easily. Thank you for teaching me to put my faith in God and to always keep him first in my life. It's the foundation that has led me to where I am now personally and professionally. I'm gonna get through this. To my husband, the love of my life, you are my everything. You're my biggest fan. You keep me grounded in my faith and you always lift me up and encourage me to be the best person I can be. I thank God that you are in my life and I can't imagine being on this journey with anyone else. And to my children, Jacob and Shelby, you are my heart. You're the reason I get up every morning and make the decision to, give, to live my life the way that I do. You are my blessings from God and I love you with all that I am. Dad and I are both extremely proud of you. So I started off in this office as a part-time clerk. From day one, I knew this office was where I was supposed to be. I was incredibly happy to be working here. I love the work. I love the people. I love how much appreciation the management staff had for my thoughts and ideas. I felt free to be myself, and I had been given confidence from leadership that I could succeed. Fast forward 22 years, when Robin asked me to serve as her chief deputy, I was honestly in a bit of shock. I even tried to talk her out of it and ask lots of questions as to why she thought I would be a good choice. <laughs> I told her that I needed some time to think it over. And when I came home that night, I told my husband about the offer and he said without hesitation, well, of course you're gonna take the job. <laughs> Mr. Encourager, biggest fan. <laughs> so with lots of prayers to bring me clarity, I accepted. I have literally grown up in this office. I have made almost every mistake a person can make, and each time I was met with grace and encouragement. The philosophy of this leadership team is to continue to coach and encourage every person who joins this family. This office has an incredible reputation for service to everyone we come in contact with. It's our standard and has been since before I even began here. I believe our office has the greatest management team in the state of Georgia. Sorry, Angie. <laughs> I would bet the house on them. Their dedication to serving our constituents and each other is bar none. They take their jobs very seriously and they support each other in every way. They have servant's heart and it shows daily in how they treat each, each other and others. Sorry. We are the best because we work with the best, because we find a way to make each other better, and because we have invested our lives in public service. It's a mission we all consciously made this, the decision to do, and I'm proud of us for that. I hope to continue this philosophy until I take my leave of this place. All of you and my work family have left your mark on me. Robin has put her faith and trust in me, and I do not intend to let her down. Robin, thank you for your faith in me. <laughs> thank you for allowing me to serve beside you, and thank you for your friendship and your guidance. I will give you my best. Thank you all again for your support of Robin and I. And now I would like to introduce our chief judge. He has been a judge in this court for over 15 years. He somehow received the lucky job of guiding this court through one of the most challenging years any of us have ever experienced. <laughs> the pandemic has given all of us a bit of PTSD, and we might even need to consider group therapy because of it. <laughs> he has been one of our biggest supporters in navigating these murky waters, and we appreciate him more than he knows. So without further ado, I would like to introduce Judge Carl Bowers to come up and give us our closing. Thank you. Thank you, Rochelle. I appreciate that a lot. It's my um, distinct honor to be here today. 
with you people and those of you virtually to uh, to conclude. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't say some remarks about my colleague, Judge Rogers. Um, tomorrow's his last day. He's been here since 1995. He's been a friend to the judges. He's been a mentor. He's been our leader as chief. And I told him this in this very courtroom last week, but I want to say it again for everyone that's here. When I think of someone as a judge that I aspire to be in, in, in terms of temperament, in terms of knowledge, in terms of treating people fairly and, and being honest with everybody, it's Toby Rogers. He is a gentleman and he is as fine a person as I know. <clears throat> it's been my uh, honor to serve with Judge Rogers. He will tell you perhaps sometime that when, uh, when I was much younger that my father and Judge Rogers went to law school together. And he says he remembers me going around in short pants and seeing me with my dad when he would, when they would uh, perhaps be together around the law school. Judge Rogers is an absolutely outstanding person. And I just wanna thank you for your service to the citizens of Cobb County and to the state court of Cobb County since 1995. Thank you very much. Um, when I think about the clerk's office, and I think particularly about 2020 and the year that it's been, as uh, Rochelle referenced during the pandemic, it's been one heck of a ride. Um, <clears throat> no one would have known 12 months ago what 2020 would bring. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> but we've, <clears throat> excuse me, I think that the court collectively has addressed it uh, as best as we can. I was given some numbers a couple of uh, days ago. <clears throat> Excuse me, I apologize. And I looked at the numbers carefully, and I had already known this for some time, but the state court clerk's office in Cobb County is the second busiest clerk's office in the state of Georgia. Um, the number of cases that is processed in the state court clerk's office is phenomenal. Every case that comes through the court is processed by the clerk's office. You know, I, I handle a very tiny fraction of those cases. Judge Rogers handles a very tiny fraction of those cases, but the clerk's office, Robin and Rochelle and the folks um, in the office handle every single one of them. And when the pandemic um, came to us in March of this year, beginning on the 13th, that was the first time we really had to start entering some orders. The clerk's office immediately responded as I knew they would, as we all knew they would, and has been the absolute heart and soul of what the state court has done and been in that time. Every time we've had the occasion to move cases and move cases by the truckload sometimes, <laughs> thousands upon thousands of them. Every time we've had to tweak orders as recently as last week <clears throat> to close the courthouse uh, in certain ways uh, to non-essential business, the clerk's office is there and is always available to assist the court in doing that. I can't think of any better people personally in Robin and in Rochelle to accomplish that journey with. Y'all are wonderful people. Um, you have wonderful people that you work with and to those out, the management staff watching, <clears throat> please accept my thanks on behalf of all the judges for the work that you do, uh, the work that you will do going forward. You're greatly appreciated. Um, I guess the judges in some ways are the, the face of state court, but the heart and soul of state court is the clerk's office and these ladies right here. And we appreciate, uh, appreciate you very much. And I'm going to say one thing to my good friend, Angie Davis. I respect her immensely. Um, I've known her for 23, 24 years, but she's wrong about one thing today. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> the best clerk's office in the state of Georgia is right here in the Cobb County State Court Clerk's Office, with all due respect. Thank y'all very much. Does that wrap it up, Shy? Well, I'll do that. Um, <clears throat> well, so Happy New Year to everybody. And thanks for joining us. And God bless you. Take care. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>